Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we have a very special video. I noticed that I hit 50,000 subscribers. <laughs> Thank you guys so much, that is insane to me. It's like that awkward moment where you talk too much about tarantulas in real life. So you made a YouTube channel to talk to strangers about tarantulas and suddenly there's 50,000 people listening to you and it's just like, what? Thank you so much for your support and thank you for listening to me talk about tarantulas because that's what I like to do. I like to, I like to talk about tarantulas. <laughs> So I thought, what can I do that's like special to say thank you? And of course, what better way to celebrate than to talk about my tarantulas with horns. And not only am I going to show you my tarantulas with horns, but we are also going to be feeding my tarantulas with horns hornworms. Because <laughs> I know you guys like hornworms. I also got these really cool geodes that I'm going to put in their enclosures. And I have a really special giveaway at the end of the video. So please stay tuned for that if you want to enter to win these. And I'll talk more about these when we talk talk about the giveaway. So yeah, let's just get right into this and see what all of my horned tarantulas are doing today. All right, so the first horned tarantula that we are going to talk about today is my Ceratogyrus marshalli, or the straight horned baboon tarantula. This is one of my favorite spiders that I have. She is a female for a little bit of water. So I'm not sure if she's going to take a hornworm because she actually looks pretty plump. So here is a hornworm. Here goes nothing. Woo! Do you want it? Oh, 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 wow. Okay. I don't know if she's interested. She might be in pre-molt. I don't know. Wow. Okay, no, she does want it. She does want it. Very crazy girl. There's her horn and it's so big. Do you guys see it? It's like the biggest horn out of all of my tarantulas. What a crazy girl. So let's also give her this really pretty geode. I think this one is like super glittery and just will look really cool right there and there she is looking great enjoy your meal so next we have my ceratogyrus darlingi and she was my first old world tarantula i'm not sure if she's gonna come out to eat but we can go ahead and try since she is pretty shy i wouldn't be surprised if she decides to wait until later to eat but it won't hurt to just offer her some food give her a little bit of a refill here and let's see we'll do this worm She is turning around. Oops, scared her a little bit. Oh gosh, that is like the one way to scare. Oh, you're you're gonna scare her away. Oh my gosh, this worm wanted to scare her away by thrashing around. <laughs> yeah, she went like pretty far back in her burrow, so I don't think she's gonna come out for us. But I will put the worm there, and I'm sure she will be lured out later. So yeah, let's put this pretty one in here, and I will put it. I don't know where should we put. I like it right here really pretty. Too bad we didn't really get to see her, but maybe we'll catch her out later. All right, so next we have my Ceratogyrus sandiri, and I have a feeling that she is not going to want to take a hornworm. She usually is kind of afraid of them, and this one's pretty big, but we can see... Oh, jeez. <laughs> yeah, as you see, she's uh, a little afraid of it. I don't want her to run out. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, so we're gonna play with the worm today. So she is interested for sure. Oh, I think she might take it. Let's see. Oh. Yeah, okay, very cool. That's actually a huge surprise. Oh my God. Oh my god. So we know that she definitely wants it, but she's just going to probably poke it for a really long time. There's a little bit better of a look at her though, and as you notice, her horn is almost flat. Hers is like a really different shape than the others, but she is also a Ceratogyrus species. So I'm gonna give her a little bit of water. Mm -hmm. 
And we'll also give her a really pretty geode as well. I'm gonna use tongs for this girl though, because I just wanna get in and out as fast as I can. A little something sparkly for you to look at. That is my Sarah Tagiris Sandiri. Look at her, she's got it. Yay, she did take it. That is a big worm. I was kind of not sure if she would take that one. So last, I wanted to talk about my S. Hoffmani. She is probably my favorite tarantula in my entire collection. She's gorgeous, she's really sweet, and she's now super famous. She's one of my favorite species for many reasons, but the main one is because she's a new world and she has a horn. And she's the only new world that has a horn that we know of. I know she's not a very popular species, but but she is kind of rare, not something you come across a lot. So if you ever see one of these and you want one, I would suggest grabbing it right away. And if you guys wanna learn a little bit more about her, Danny has included this and in his next extension pack for his keeper cards. So this is a card that is special metallic and my girl is on the card. This card includes all the information about her, Central American Horned Tarantula, and it says who discovered them and when. This wonderful species is unique because of its prominent foveal horn, often associated with the African Cyrotagarius genus. But, like I said, this is a New World tarantula from Costa Rica in the tropical rainforest. It says that females can live about 20 years, males about 6, and the keeper level is a 2 out of 5, so not really complicated to keep, definitely something a beginner could manage. It also says what type of urticating hairs, terrestrial, and you want to keep them slightly moist. There's Costa Rica on a map, and then of course it says photo credit, tarantula cat. Now we'll talk a little bit more about this later, but let's see if this girl is going to take a hornworm, because I noticed she slowly crept out thinking she might be fed. Before we drop in this hornworm though, I do want to get a little better look at her and you can see her teeny tiny horn. She might be afraid of it. I don't know. She's definitely interested. Oh, are you gonna do it? She could definitely use this too because she molted about a month or two ago, so I've been trying to plump her back up. Yes. Oh, yes. There she goes right back into her hole. She's a very shy tarantula, but it's always a treat when we get to see her. Give her a little bit of water. Oops. And we are also going to give her a special geode. Set it right there. Just adds a little something nice to her enclosure. As you see though, she's really mixed it all up and just kind of made that coconut her burrow. So looks kind of like a boring enclosure, but she decorated it, not me. And there's at least two or three water dishes somewhere in here as well. But yeah, okay, yay. So it looks like everybody has eaten besides my Darlingi. I know she will probably eat later. She is just probably one of my most shy tarantulas, so we don't see her too much, but that's great. I'm so happy that we got a good shot finally of my S. Hoffmani. She's definitely a tarantula that we do not see enough of and it was just a real treat to actually get her on film for once. So very cool. And now let's talk a little bit more about this giveaway I mentioned. If you guys remember, last year I talked about something called Keeper Cards. If you don't remember, they were these really cool cards that you can actually still buy, of course, and they pretty much talk about different tarantula species. They give the care info, and they're just really cool to have. This information is accurate, and it's just a really good source for, especially like new keepers, to check and say, okay, how do I take care of a Lazdora Parabana? And then you have all the information right there. So when Danny made these, he also made it with the intent to add on to this starter pack with new packs to like add more species. And he contacted me a while ago and asked if I would like to pick a tarantula species to have included in his keeper card project. So of course I said yes, there was one species that I noticed was missing and happens to be one of my favorites, which is of course the S. Hoffmani. So not only did Danny make it happen, we have a metallic S. Hoffmani card to add to the pack as well as a tarantula cat keeper card that will come with it. And yes, the photographs that are used on this are of my S. Hoffmani girl that you guys just saw. So of course, I'm so happy with how the cards came out. They look so cool and I just really love his project. So if you guys want to buy the extension pack, it's going to be available on his website right now, which I will link down below. However, I also wanted to do a special giveaway to thank you guys. So if you want to enter the giveaway, I will be giving away a signed copy. You guys can 
enter down below. I will have a link. It will take you to a website that I've used many times. It just makes it completely fair for everyone. And you can enter to win a signed Tarantula Cat extension pack for the Keeper cards. I will also have a Patreon exclusive one. So that link will be posted in my Patreon. This is an international giveaway. As long as I can send you mail, you can enter it. All I ask is you to please be 18 years or older or have permission from someone who is. So yeah, good luck. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like this video if you did, subscribe if you're not. And you want to be. Don't forget that I have an Instagram that I use probably way too much. It's at tarantula.cat. You can go follow me there. I also have a Patreon, Teespring, and podcast. It's all linked down below if you want to check it out. And I will see you guys soon. Thank you so much. Stay safe and stay well.